Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to build the strongest crypto miner I've ever built on How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification button. You'll get all the videos I make all the time. And this video, we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away this 1050 Ti because I have all those. You guys gave me so much love and so many subscribers. Thank you guys so much. So in order to win this, all you have to do is share this video on social networks and comment below on the video where you shared it. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, I'll ship it to you. So let's review what kind of equipment I'm going to need to use to build one of those rigs. This is six GTX 1080 Ti's. Each one of them has 11 gigabyte of GRAM. That's just crazy. Because they consume so much power, about 300 watts each, they might get to up to 1,900 watts total power consumption for this rig. So I'm going to need two 1,000 watt EVGA power supplies to be able to give all that power to the video cards. We can also need some RAM, 8 gigs of DDR4. I have some basic uh, Celeron, but it's the new version, the LGA1151 CPU. And we have a 120 gig SSD, just a simple drive to be able to run everything pretty quickly. We have six razors. The razors will connect each video card to the PCIe Express ports. I also have a motherboard right here. It's gonna support six GPUs. With the razors, it's gonna connect to the motherboard so you can run all of those at the same time. Also right here, that's the case, that's the um, mining rig case where we put all the video cards in and the motherboard and the power supply. So this the whole enclosure of the thing. Now to start, we have to unbox all this equipment, pull it all up and then start assembling. Let's start with the mining rig. This is the front panel with the little screen. You have a power and reset button. And the front screen have like controller for the fans and you know CPU temperatures and all that. This is the side frames. There's a screw kit here with some zip ties. This time I'm gonna do my best to organize the cable nicely. And we have six fans. Those are actually very, very useful. With the airflow, it keeps the GPUs nice and cool. Now let's start assembling it. To assemble this rig, as you can see, there's numbers here: one, two, three, and four. So it kind of tells you where to put everything. Because here, as you can see here, there's also numbers. So you're matching it. For example, it says one and two here, and it says one and two right here. One and two, one and two, you just put in like this, and you screw it in, it's that easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. There's little bags in there with all the screws. As you can see, it says HDD, and each one it says what, it, what it's for. And here's the screws for the case, and this is the little tool that it came with. Same thing on the other side, 4 to 4, 3 to 3. Before we install the second part of the frame, we're going to install the motherboard support holder. Now that we installed the motherboard plate, we're going to go ahead and install the second part of the case. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. We're now going to install this SSD right here. It's easier to do it now. Here's the pack of screws for the HDD screws or SSD. This is the bottom of the rig and I'm just going to screw in the SSD in there. Now we're going to unbox and install the 1000 watt power supply, one out of two. We're gonna need all those cables later when we plug in all the video cards. So put those aside for now. So as you can see, I put the two power supplies here for now and I'm just, you know, organizing the cables, realizing where the cables will be. This is the motherboard connection, both of them need it. One of them will have the little jumper so it's always on and the second one will be connected to the motherboard itself. So it will be turned on when we plug it in. It comes with the EVGA power supply and that's really nice of them to do that. And all you do is click it in and then as soon as you plug in this to the power, it will turn on. And the second one will go to the motherboard. So let's go ahead and put all the cables that we need right now, all the PCIe Express cables, all the power cables right now, because once we screw in it, it will be hard to add on. Never goes down, time must go down. 
Here is the first power supply. I'm gonna start organizing the cables nicely and put some zip ties because there's not a lot of space here. So I'm gonna use the included zip ties. It came with a case to organize the cables here. So this is the main power supply. This will power up the fan, the CPU, the motherboard, and the SSD. So I already plug in the SSD right here, from here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the second power supply that's power up the, the other three video cards and then I'm gonna screw everything in once I know everything is set. Okay, I'm pretty much done with the cabling. If I miss any cable, I'm gonna add it on. For now, I'm gonna leave it without screwing it in and put the motherboard in now. First, let's click in the, uh, the I.O. plate for the motherboard. Now let's install the motherboard carefully. Here's the motherboard plates. We're gonna go ahead and screw all the screws in. The motherboard plate screws are already installed. I didn't have to install them this time. Now, let's go ahead and install the CPU and the RAM. On the last video, many of you asked me about the thermal paste. It's already there from Intel, so I did not have to add it. Now we're gonna install the CPU fan. Two RAM sticks. Motherboard power connection. CPU power. Plug it in. Now let's connect the SSD to the motherboard with a SATA cable. That was included in the motherboard. Let's plug in the power to the front LED panel. The front LCD panel need to be connected to the motherboard using those small cables. Those connections will let the LCD panel restart the computer, start it, power button, and then uh, some LEDs for the hard drive and uh, LEDs for the power of the motherboard. This is how it looks like after I install the front panel little connections to the motherboard and then we can power it up. The next step is to actually not install the video card yet. I want to make sure that this computer works as it is to kind of like avoid issues after. So I'm going to install Windows on with a USB. You can install those from um, Amazon. You can buy those. Okay, so before we start putting all the video cards in, I think the best way is to make sure the computer works and install Windows on it to kind of avoid issues later. So let's go ahead and start it for the first time. Ooh. It starts perfect. First try. Let's install Windows now. So now I'm gonna change the above 4G decoding. This helps me install more than one video card. I already had some issues not having this enabled and this is disabled by manufacturer. I'm gonna enable that, everything else is great and I'm gonna go ahead and install Windows now. So this little device was sent to me by open-dev.ru. This is actually add on another PCI uh, razor. So I can add another razor here, you know, and I can have seven GPUs if I want to. Now this is a really cool device. I will leave a link below. Thank you guys so much for sending me this. This is really genius. Now that our computer is installed with Windows, I'm gonna go ahead and download the latest NVIDIA graphics card drivers. And to do so, I'm gonna go to Google and type NVIDIA drivers. Now we already know the system, so we can actually download it ourselves and choose the right one. So we have the 10 series and we're gonna select 1080 Ti and download the latest one. I'm downloading it ahead of time because when once I install it, it will be easier the drivers to load up and there's gonna be less problems with black screen or you know, not finding the drivers or anything like that. So I'm installing it ahead of time. Now the next step is to unbox all the video cards and install them one by one and connect them all to the power supplies. Here's the first one, really good card with a back plate. I already tested one of those before, but we're gonna install six of them today. So as you can see here, we have six screws that holds the GPUs. We're gonna go ahead and uninstall one of them. Then we're gonna grab one of the PCIe razors. And this cable right here, gonna connect to the motherboard. Here's the razor connection. It's gonna go in right here. As you can see, we have more of those. We're gonna go one by one. So this is the first one. 
Now let's go ahead and hook up the video card. Okay, let's go ahead and hook up the razor. And then lock it back in. And now that we know what size it is, how long it is, I know that I can put the support right here for the video card. It comes with two of those, but I only need one. Now also don't forget to provide power to the razor. They all need power as well, all six of them. Plug in the USB for the razor right here. Now connect the razor power to the power supply. All right, we have one video card ready. Now let's do five more. Wow, okay, we installed the uh, six video cards and the six razors, but now we have to power up all the power plugs, the PCIe power plugs, VGA, whatever you call it. So, one power supply in charge of three, and then another power supply in charge of three of them. So I split it, so in case one fails, three will continue to run, and then if the main one fails, then both of them is not gonna work, but at least we have two as a backup. Let's start with the first three. There are eight pin VGA power for each one, two of them. I finished all the cable management. Holy cow, this, it's so hard to do a six video card cable management. There's so many cables for each one, but they're all working. I went in and I installed one video card at a time and I make sure that all of them showing up on NiceHash. All of them are running right now, but now we only have to do is to put the fans on. Okay, the fans are on, it's all done. Now we're gonna plug it in, run some nice hash. I'll do Ethereum too if you wanna do a different pool, whatever pool you want. And then this will take probably hours to benchmark, so we're gonna have to wait. But everything is set, the six razors, six GTX 1080 Ti's, it's just beautiful, look at it. It's, I managed to do it clean. This is power supply number one, number two. Everything is all set, it's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and do a benchmark and see what happens. All right, the computer is working perfectly. I downloaded NiceHash and run the benchmark. The benchmark takes like two hours, no kidding, with that many video cards. It tests each one. NiceHash is an okay solution uh, for mining because they do pay out and they fix the issues. They used to have some issues and hacking issues and stuff but now they're working fine just make sure that if you are mining you have a big mining rig because their payout is very high i think it's 0.1 bitcoin so you have to make a thousand dollars just to get paid so just remember that so if you don't want to mine on nice hash we can also mine on ifminer.org all you have to do is follow the instructions here i'll show you you go to a windows bundle because i'm running windows and then just download this one the latest one and i'm going to put it on the desktop once it's done all you have to do is extract it to the desktop and after that open it and then create a new notepad file in the notepad file you're gonna copy the instructions from earthminer.org and just change your information to your wallet so then you get get paid so your earthminer address will go here and the rig name will go here I'm gonna put you there I'm going to save it, ifminer.bat to actually execute the edminer. And then you have a little execution file here. You click it, the Windows batch file, it opens up and it mines just fine. I'm going to wait for NiceHash to finish. So let's take a look at NiceHash performance, all right? $42 per day. Wow. So it seems like five of the video cards running EquaHash at 3.4 uh, kilo hashes. And then one of them is uh, mining the the library and then it's at 400 uh, mega hashes total 42 dollars per day wow that's a lot of money so if we calculate that per month 42.4 times 30 dollars per month that's 1272 dollars per month now don't forget this is not a cheap setup this is one of the best video cards in the world okay 
and this is six of them so that's why the performance is so high make sure you know that this number represents right now but in the future that number might change higher or lower it depends on how many people buy uh, mining contracts from nice hash and how much those uh, scripts make in general how much those litecoins how much those altcoins actually are worth change a lot on how much profit you're gonna make but that's just, just amazing this is no overclock no nothing uh, I'm not going to overclock it yet. What we're going to do now is check how much wattage are we drawing right now. <laughs> and I'm actually using two plugs. Let's also check some temperatures. So I'm going to download Specky. I like this software. It's very easy to use. It's free. It's fast. So I recommend it to check out the statistics of the temperatures. Now, something to notice. <laughs> My lighting is kind of like when, when it starts mining my house lighting kind of get dim you know how in the movies when there's a lot of power draw the whole city is like you know power goes down kind of thing now my house like lights and stuff are like you know affecting by the power it takes it takes a lot of power i mean i think it takes more than uh, antminer s9 so it's a really powerful machine so make sure your house can stand it because i think uh, my house is kind of like the maximum you know I'm, I'm pulling out the maximum i can you know more than that it's gonna jump my whole house <laughs> so it's kind of cool you know that you reach those limits i like it once uh, specky is downloaded it will just open up and scan your whole system and here you go look at that yeah that's that's high temperatures i was expecting it 79 to 82 and i'm actually expecting it to get to reach like 85 89 when it's a little warm in here because it's a bit cold right now not super cold but it's a bit chill so temperatures will be high and that's those those are running pretty high 1080 ti's are running pretty high and don't forget they're really really close to each other those fans you saw in the front and the back they do help move the air around but still they're so close to each other so now let's check out how much power this machine takes so you can see it's making 46 dollars a day this is how much power it takes 1700 and 80 watts holy cow i think it's beeping because that's pretty much the maximum that you can take out for one socket it works perfectly though the two 1000 power supplies split the power between them so they're only taking like 900 each or 900 something each so it's not too bad it's not reaching the limit yeah just look at those lights it looks like those video cards was designed to mine those flashing lights almost look like the ant miner usb the u1 i don't know if you guys remember but that's how it was it was just flashing lights like that and i think that's why it looks like that they make it look like uh, old school bitcoin mining uh, usb devices so that's awesome the air coming out from this way air coming in from that way so it actually works really well to cool down the cards and some of the air goes up some of the air goes this way all right guys it's all done six gtx 1080 ti's wow they work perfectly they mine 46 dollars a day that's crazy but it mines 1700 watts or over that a little bit every single day so that's about 120 dollars a month or more i pay 10 cents per kilowatt so it's not too bad but it depends on your country or whatever you are from you can't connect anything else to that socket that you're using that 10 amp socket or 20 amp hopefully 20 amps you can't connect anything else there just that device and that's it because you know as soon as you turn on your light it will jump on my last solar experiment i said if i get 3,000 likes I will do another giveaway so here i am i'm doing another giveaway all you have to do is share the video and tell us where you shared it and like it if i get 6,000 likes on this video i will do another giveaway of another card last card i sent it to germany to a really nice guy and he was very very happy to get this card don't forget to subscribe if you never subscribed before and click at that notification button so then next time i make a video you will know it right away don't forget to check my social media and idanabada.com forward slash bitcoin i will share the link below to the forum conversation about this build see you guys next time bye bye